This is no now. Um, I guess I'll just go down the line and uh, show you uh, what makes up the song. All of my percussion is, is pretty uh, reverb wet uh, without a lot of decay time. So I like having the percussion kind of have this like kind of reverbiness and it also adds almost like an acoustic element to it. It doesn't sound as synthetic as some of the samples. So when you add that with the percussion, that's the main drum line there. And then uh, just a little bit further in comes uh, some hi-hats. I work with my drums all just in audio um, on, uh, you know, just basically all in audio as opposed to MIDI. Uh, so yeah, this vocal trap was actually uh, just different uh, vocal samples that I had on my computer. So that was in the original um, instrumental and when I was first writing it, I was like, it'd be cool to have some sort of vocal chop. And so that, and then the second element is probably the more interesting one, is this chord. And um, what I realized when looking back at this project is that I used guitar amps on almost everything in this song, which is, there's no guitars in this song, but I use guitar amps on everything. Um, so this, uh, or this, um, synthesizer is actually a bass uh, in, in silence. It's called the Buka bass. Love that sound. Number one, shouldn't be playing chords with a bass synthesizer. Number two, shouldn't be putting a guitar amp on the synthesizer. And number three, mistakes are what makes success, I think. So. <laughs> so now, like, at this point, I'm like, okay, this is, like, starting to sound like a song. Like, I have, like, you know, a good percussion line, good drum line. Uh, a fairly catchy chord progression. Really simple, it's just like four chords. I mean, I'm sure everyone has used these four chords before too. Um, and then just the last thing to add in for the intro without the vocal is the bass line, which is also from Silent. Um, just a really basic four note, uh, D, E, B, and G. So the, the, the chorus itself is just that vocal, um, just kind of processed pretty basically, just like with a uh, utility and a vocal channel strip and just some EQ and a compressor and then the side chain, of course. And then the percussion is like almost all the same from before. There's a little bit heavier of a, uh, of a snare in there, just to kind of give the difference between the snare and the verses. The distorted synth from the beginning plays uh, on the offbeat almost like a, it's almost like a little bit of a reggae type tone to it. Where it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> right, it's a little bit jumpy. So I think that, that element itself just gives a lot of bounce to the track. Yeah. And then the synth, the main synth, still playing. And then um, my, probably my favorite thing is this cool brass section that we add in. have um, a new uh, synth brought in that plays uh, this kind of like fun, almost like really windy. And then it goes back up. Things change, but as long as you're happy. Things change, but as long as you're happy was one of the lines I think caught my eye the most. And I actually wanted to name the song Things Change uh, when I first got the vocals back because I thought um, I wanted to pull like a Red Hot Chili Pepper move where their titles to their songs are always just like one random snippet within the song. It's like not the chorus. And I've always thought like, that's so cool that they're just like, you know what, we're not going to name it like the lyrics in the chorus. We're just going to name it this random word that's like in the middle of one of the verses. Yeah. Talking about like this relationship with this person that he's had and then he um, just realizes that it's like not happening or like the other person doesn't want a part of it. And so he like kind of comes to this realization that you know, like he knows now uh, what it means uh, to like let them go almost. Do you have you ever talked to Loe like on the phone? Oh yeah, all the yeah. yeah. Like when we were writing the song, like. Dude, would it be weird for you to call him right now? Right now? Yeah. See if he picks up. You have reached the voice. All right. Well, it's something a lot of people can relate to with whatever relationship they've been in. Um, 
or even just like that doesn't even have to be like a romantic relationship it can even just like be a friendship or something like that how do you think i did i don't know it was like my first interview <laughs> no it was good it was good it was good Saturday night, and you're driving my car. I only let you cause I love you, and you stay in my heart. And you know, and you know. But sometimes you want me, and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you love me.